hey, 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 everybody. I'm Nelson Weston, and you know what time it is. It's time for an all-new segment of Spotlight Carolina. Who better to join us than our good friend from Salia Hearing Center, Dr. Selena Rogers. Dr. Rogers, good to have you on the show. Thank you. It's nice to be here. It's a pleasure. So talk to me, Doc. What are some of the first signs and symptoms of hearing loss? Well, very often, the first thing people notice is they have a hard time understanding mm -hmm. when they're in a group of people. When you're in a restaurant, if you don't understand your family as well as you used to, mm -hmm. that's a sign you should get a hearing test. Uh-oh. Now, uh, speaking of first, by the way, what are some of the first steps that people should take if they do, in fact, fear they are losing their hearing loss, or even a friend or a family member, they might be losing their hearing loss, too? The first step is to have a hearing test. Okay. We want to confirm that, yes, you do have hearing loss. The hearing test is going to tell us what kind of hearing loss you have, how much you have, and what kind of treatment you need. Okay, now speaking of uh, we, why is it so important for a medical professional to actually tell you you're having hearing loss as opposed to just the average Joe Schmo, you know, people like me? What can you tell us? Audiologists are trained to identify health risks that we see on your hearing test or in your case history, mm -hmm. and we can refer you to the proper medical provider, okay. most often the ear, nose, and throat doctor. I see. I want to piggyback on something you said. You mentioned there are different types of hearing loss. Can you mm -hmm. elaborate on that? 80% of adults have the type of hearing loss that needs hearing aids. Mm -hmm. That's called a nerve damage hearing loss. Oh, okay. 20% of adults are going to have a different kind of hearing loss that can be treated possibly with medicine or surgery, something like a hole in the eardrum, a problem with the bones behind the eardrum not working correctly, maybe even something as serious as a tumor growing on the auditory nerve. Mm -hmm. And you really need someone who understands the anatomy and the testing to be able to identify when you need to have that evaluated. Interesting. I learned something new today. I didn't know that. That's great. Now, um, let's play devil's advocate. Let's okay. say somebody out there does, in fact, have hearing loss. What are the first signs? Um, excuse me. I'm sorry. What are some of the first treatment options that are available? Well, most people with hearing loss never seek treatment for that. Mm -hmm. And the reason it's important to seek treatment is because people who have untreated hearing loss are more likely to have anxiety, depression, certain types of dementia. Mm -hmm. People with untreated hearing loss make more mon less money over the course of their lifetime than people who wow. treat their hearing loss. So it's, it's not just about hearing, it really impacts your overall lifestyle and your overall health for your life. Now, Doc, very briefly, does health insurance, does it cover a diagnosis of hearing loss? Audiologists are in network with Medicare and the major insurance companies, and so we can absolutely file that test to your insurance. Well, Doc, I want to thank you for taking the time to speak with us here today. And for more information, folks, you can always visit SaliaHearingCenter.com, 828-586-7474. I'm Nelson Weston, and we'll see you next time right here on Spotlight Carolina. Today's Spotlight Carolina was sponsored by Sawyer Hearing Center.